Boom dia, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube channel. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. Uh, yes, my name is Didi, I huddle, I don't worry, I am happy, be happy guys. And in this video, short TA video, very powerful charts. Today, we are just going to look at the facts. I know there is a lot of wishful thinking. 50% of the market is thinking, oh, we should go to 24K. And 50% of the market is thinking, oh, we should go back to 40K. So let's now take a look at the real facts into the charts and let's see what they have to tell us. Now, quickly jump into it because I don't want to make it too long because then I will lose your attention. Give the video a thumbs up already. I want to give as much as possible thumbs up in this video. Bam! first chart that we are going to look at guys this is the four hour chart and we are slowly going to zoom out like you can see on the four hour chart we are finding support on that 31,000 around the 31,000 level yes we broke out and yes we retested and no we didn't go up yet we should be going up and we should be trying to reach this area over there you know that 34k and break that on the other hand we should try to keep support on this beautiful area over there okay very short no bam bam today very only facts bam if we zoom out a little bit to the day chart from four hours to the day chart we see something different as well we again see that we have the huge support at that 31k level we can see this downward rent line the downward trend line that is tightening up to that 30k support level which means at the end of this triangle let's call it like that pennant we need to break out somewhere and it's in the beginning of august up or down we don't know but mostly something like that will happen and yes if you look in the big up time frame if we would be able to break that um that that, that resistance line let's call it like that if we would be able to break the resistance, then we would need to fight this next resistance lines because that one is coming up from the top to there. And then we should be breaking it over here somewhere or we break out here. So it could be going like this up and down and we could break out and we could come retest and then we could go there, break out, retest, something like this should be beautiful. That is the wishful thinking but it could also go like something like up down up we could fall down back to the 29k level come back up retest and even go back to the 24k level all these possibilities are there we just are here to trade them that is the day chart now let's jump into the bam here the week chart we can see the same we are finding support in this huge area that was support and resistance over here for one two three four five almost six weeks and then over here again now for one two three four five six weeks we need to keep support above this 32,000 level and yeah, like this but that depends on how people draw the candles this is high kinesian if you draw the candles in a normal way no we look we are breaking it but this candle still needs to close because the blx so we are finding support on a yellow line that is the 50 weekly moving average this is the 100 weekly moving average around 200 k, uh, 20k sorry so this 50 weekly moving average is being support at the moment if you would look a little bit more like at a line you could be seeing it more clear um, this is the support area over here that's above 30k and we should be having support over there that is the weekly chart guys if we break that support you go to the next support area and that is 27 28 and then 24k that is how it works now let's jump into the next chart bam over here this is the daily chart but i need to make it daily normally this is a, a, a monthly chart but i need to make it daily to make something very clear because i want to make it very clear that on this chart you can see in 2013 we had that same kind of move we went up and then we came down and we went sideways 
The sideways movement in 2013 took 211 days, around 211 days. It can be 212, you know, depending on which chart you look at. 211 days. After 211 days, we broke the previous all-time high, and then it took 21 more days, 22 more days, to jump up to the new all-time high, to the top of that market, and that was like in 22 days. So 211 days till we broke that previous all-time high, and then it took another 20 days to go all the way to the top. That was a huge increase of like 300% or something, I think. We went from, let's see, 250 to the top of 1200, yeah. So that's a huge increase in those last 20 days. Now, if we go now to 2021, and we take these numbers, 211 days and 230 days, let's see where we do what we get. So if we would take those numbers from the previous stop over here, 211 days over there, that's 213 days here, 11 days, need to keep it the same day that would take till the 9th of November that we still go sideways inside that box. Sideways inside that box means like this, like this, and slowly going up because then there comes a moment we need to break the top over there of that box because that is the previous all-time high. And that can take all the way till the 11th of November. And then in those last 20 days, the Bitcoin price moves like pfft, almost straight up in a line and that would be then December. That is how the 2013 move looked. So yes, this sideways movement can take way more longer than we all expect. It can take, and we have been now in total, to give you an indication, and to be very clear, at the moment, the sideways movement is 97 days. In 2013, it was 210 days. That's a double from now. That's a lot of sideways movement that we still can see. That's a lot of pain for a lot of people that think that we should fall or go up. Let's jump now in the next really cool charts. You need to see these charts, guys. Bam, here, that was my face disappearing. Yes, that is magic. Don't worry, be happy, I'm back. First, the coffee. Mm -hmm. Then we go to BAM, over here. I will make my face very small now for the last couple of minutes. In this video, um, I'm just showing you the facts, nothing else than the facts. And we can see in this chart, from the local bottom of the cycle, that is over here in the corner, there, it's a cycle bottom. In 2018, the cycle of bottom was $2.11 and we took it all the way up to that level there 539 times, $2. In 2000, that was 2011, sorry. In 2015, we took it all the way to the top over there. That's 112 times the bottom of $176. And now in December 15th, in 2018, we had a low over there, of course, of 3180 and now we are at 10.3 times that bottom normally if you look at the charts we should be getting another movement up maybe only to 30 times or 40 times that bottom and that we still come above 100k but this is what that chart is showing us now let's see more evidence in the chart bam over here in this chart we can see that the huge wheels the big wheels are selling. It's 10k plus bitcoins. That's that's like huge, huge, huge wheels. There is not a lot of those, but these wheels are selling. They sold. On the other hand, the small wheels between one and 10k, they are buying. This is tracking the movement of those wallets. That can also mean that huge wheels are now making smaller wallets out of their. A big wallet you know can be meaning a lot of things but the other thing that you can see is that all the other Bitcoin hodlers this one the 1 on to 1000 bitcoins very stable the 10 to 100 bitcoins very stable the 1 to 10 bitcoins very stable the 0 to 1 bitcoins slightly increasing or people are hodling 
or people are accumulating or the big wills are exchanging from hand and which means that's also in stable so that's very stable and we can see that bam over here that the wills in total are accumulating the bigger the more wills are accumulating and that you can see that in this area wills are active actively accumulating bitcoin now and now we let's go to the last chart but not least i think this is one of the most beautiful charts i've seen in the last couple of weeks i'm going to put my face a little bit more perfect here this is a really cool chart as well guys yes i already did show the chart without saying bam but that's what it is look here in 2017 it took 460 days after the halving to reach parity with the model of stock to flow you can see the lines the stock to flow model is that blue line then you have the actual price that's the orange line you have the upper stock to flow one the lower stock to flow one and the stock to flow two and the lower stock to flow two the bottom green line that one was touched before that we went up to the blue line and came down to the dotted green line and that took 463 days after the halving to come back to that dotted green line and from that moment on we went up but you can see that the 370 days after the halving over here that pink circle bitcoin was for sale at a 65 percent discount it touched that bottom line of the stock to flow 2 model that darker green line now if you compare it now with today then now again after 431 days after the halving we can buy bitcoin with a 57 percent like 58 percent discount we are touching that bottom line almost so we can drop a little bit more to touch that line and then let's see also at that green area again will it then you know how many days will it then take um, for the model price to reach that 75k if it will follow the previous um, run this part over here then it took from 373 days to 463 days about 90 days from the touch of that bottom to the touch of that new bottom of the dotted green line so if it would do the same, the 16th of July, it would take 19 days to get to that green line bottom over there, the, the dotted green line. And that one is then around 75K. And then after that, it will take another couple of days, months to break that blue line. And then the stock to flow model would still be exactly how it plays out every time again so at the moment you can buy bitcoin with a 57.6 percent discount if it is up to the stock to flow model this model can be broken it doesn't mean that this model forever will work i think i ever i saw plan b stating as well in the video that he ever made with madeline was i don't know for how long the stock to flow model will be intact but normally it should stay intact at the moment and we should follow up with bouncing up coming back to the dollar line bouncing up above the blue line and then again coming back to that blue line that is how it should be working normally if it is up to the stock to flow model bam that was everything for today i hope you really enjoyed this video i hope you really enjoyed the facts if you have enjoyed the video please give the video a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please always don't worry be happy maybe you can leave a comment down below the video what makes you not worry and be happy and hold all your bitcoins during these sideways boring times in bitcoin i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and see you later bam